so proud of you. My name is Shannon Noel Kersey, and I am the proudest, proudest principal of our prestigious Alpharetta High School. I am honored to join you for the first ever and hopefully the one and only Alpharetta High School drive-in graduation celebration. It is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you as we come together to celebrate the extraordinary accomplishments of these students. Thank you to the families of our seniors. I know this is not what you envisioned, but you have to admit, this atmosphere is pretty cool. Look around. Take in this sight. Take in this moment in your lives. It has not happened before, and it likely will never happen again. We are in the midst of a worldwide pandemic, but we, as Alpharetta Raiders, have managed a way to come together safely today to all be together one more time. Yes, now this is typically what I ask for a round of applause, but today it's honking your horn that I say a round of applause. So honk if you are happy to be a 2020 graduate. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Thank you. How exciting. Today, we are commemorating the successful completion of 12 years of formal education. You have earned this, and as Alpharetta Raiders have demonstrated excellence in academics, arts, athletics, and altruism. Class of 2020, I've had the privilege of serving as your principal all four years of your high school experience. And we have gone through some stuff together. We had a major school evacuation, major, when you were freshmen. We had a solar eclipse when you were sophomores. We got off-campus anchor time for juniors when you were juniors. And I'm pretty sure there were some shenanigans going on those days. And now, seniors, it's COVID-19. Yep, teleschool, shelter in place orders, social distancing, and masks requirements. Indeed, you are a unique, unforgettable, yet amazing senior class. You will be the 16th graduating class from Raider Nation, and I am quite certain you will be the only class to have had a drive-in celebration in the morning and a virtual commencement ceremony in the evening due to a worldwide pandemic. Now, while certainly not what any of us ever wanted for you, I am so proud of the tenacity through which you and your families have faced this unexpected obstacle in your lives. You have a unique experience that no other graduating class has ever or will ever have, and you have persevered. At this time, I'd like to honor our esteemed faculty. If you're an AHS faculty member, can you honk your horn a few times? <laughs> Thank you to all the amazing Alfreda High School teachers counselors, administrators, and support staff who have helped get our students to this special moment. Specifically, this morning, I would like to recognize our 2020 Teacher of the Year, Mr. Derek Wright, who's also celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday, Mr. Wright. And I'd also like to honor our 
our 2020 Professional of the Year, Mr. Robert Bennett. I know CSA Bennett is driving the golf cart around here somewhere. CSA Bennett keeps us safe. Congratulations on that wonderful honor. Now, Alpharetta High School Class of 2020, despite the COVID-19 pandemic, you have still lived up to your class motto of, looks like we made it. And it sure does look like you've made it. Look around, again, right now, look around. Look at each other's decorated cars. Look at all the places that you're gonna go, all the wonderful places you're gonna go and all the wonderful things that you're going to do. Your accomplishments and stellar academic performance on ACTs, SATs, and advanced placement exams are even more evidence that you have made it. And now you guys know me, you know I'm very competitive, so I would be remiss if I did not brag one more time about how excited and proud I am that the U.S. News and World Reports ranked Alpharetta as one of the top 1% of high schools in the nation, ranked number seven in Georgia, and as the number one high school in Fulton County Schools. <laughs> Students, you are sitting in your cars Jeeps, convertibles, trucks, party vans, with your family, celebrating this moment because you have stayed focused and you have accomplished a goal. You have worked hard for the past 12 years of school to get to this precise moment in your life. And yes, it certainly shows that you have made it and COVID-19 did not stand in your way. Enjoy this moment even though it is not how you envisioned it to be. Class of 2020, you are leaving a legacy of perseverance, tenacity, resilience, and grace. You have been flexible and you have overcome this obstacle. In your silver envelopes this year, I shared a quote with you all from Ralph Waldo Emerson that will always stand out to me as a representation of the class of 2020. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is not a path and leave a trail. Class of 2020, during your life, but especially over the past, past two months, you have blazed your own path, a unique trail of excellence. And I truly believe you will come out all the stronger and all the more resilient for having traveled this unique path. I wish you all the very, very best. You are an amazing group of students who will give back positively to this world. I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. So awesome to see you all, even if it's only from here up. Congratulations, and remember, you are always a Raider. Hello, I am Varun Kostivatla, and I am your Class of 2020 Salutatorian. <laughs> Friends, parents, faculty, it is an honor to speak to you today. It's strange to think this is how our four years here end. In a lot of ways, the absurdity we finish our high school years on is representative of our time at Alpharetta as a whole. A weird ride of highs and lows, a period of unexpected twists and turns. In just four years, we as a class have been through three snowstorms, two hurricanes, a bomb threat, and a college football game so important that we canceled school for it. And now we find ourselves in quite a pickle with the spreading of the coronavirus. Another in a series of pickles we made our way out of in the past. In a way, the entirety of our high school years can be summarized by a single jar of pickles. 
a canister of adversities representing everything we have gone through in high school. Class of 2020, I implore you to view this can of cucumber as a monument to our success. We think our situation is dire, but remember to wear each past difficulty on you like a badge, to hold up this jar of pickles like a trophy. Our class has faced many struggles in the past, and now we can say with confidence that there is no challenge we cannot overcome. While it's easy to remember all the hardship, it would be doing a great disservice to our time at Alpharetta to exclude all of the good times that came from each of those moments of difficulty. For every one inch snowstorm that caused the city to shut down, we had a week off from school where we collectively laughed at our state's inability to handle the weather. For every senior prom that was postponed and later canceled, we can look back at how poorly we dressed junior prom because we said we'd do better senior year. For every day of school missed due to the coronavirus, we were given something even better in return. The amazing teleschool policy that our grades couldn't drop below what they were on March 12th. We all have so many moments from high school that we will carry with us in the future. For me, some of my me favorite memories of high school are from running for the cross country team to playing in Alpharetta's band. Everyone has these candied moments we treasure amidst our difficulty. Though our jar may be full of our troubles, our pickles, if you will, we have a second jar filled with the fruits of our labor, the good that counteracts the bad, our own candy jar. We tend to focus on our misfortunes, but oftentimes forget our candy jar of good memories, all the friends, family, and teachers that made our four years truly meaningful. Class of 2020, I implore you to remember that life is a combination of the good and the bad. These candies and pickles, a jar of candied pickles, if you will. Interestingly enough, in writing this speech, I found out that candy pickles are in fact a real thing that you can purchase for yourself for only $5.99 at vat19.com. Use promo code RAID Shadow Legends for free shipping on your order. <laughs> Class of 2020, I urge you to continue nurturing your own jar of candied pickles. And to that end, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you and congratulations. Hi, my name is Nikhil Jagannathan and I'm your class of 2020 valedictorian. When I was tasked with writing this speech, I thought I would start with a short story. One day, I was bored at home and had a spontaneous urge to kayak down the river next to the YMCA Greenway, which if you aren't aware, is full of sewage waste. After sneaking the kayak from my house and setting it on the banks of the Greenway, I began to receive a lot of suspicious looks from joggers and bikers who were evaluating my sanity. Confident, I pushed the kayak into the fast flowing waters and leaped inside. After dodging countless tree branches and logs, my adventure was short-lived, with me being stuck in the middle of the river and falling into the murky waters. When I arrived home, soaked, smelly, and covered with mud, I inevitably confessed my expedition to my parents. To this, my mom said, you graduate in two weeks, grow up. Clearly, even after graduation, I and many of you haven't conventionally grown up. We still procrastinate, rush in the mornings, and binge Netflix until 3 a.m., despite the endless time on our hands. Yet we have still grown in other ways. We have learned the power of innovation and problem solving as we figure out the minimal amount of work to accomplish exactly 70% of our teleschool assignments. It is that same ingenuity and audacity that has allowed many of us to discover new hobbies, experiment with cooking, and cut, or at least attempt to cut our own hair within the confines of our homes. We also learn to fight for the things we care about whether fighting for a graduation ceremony or convincing our parents to order takeout during quarantine. 
We have developed the ability to voice our opinions. We've learned to stand resilient in our numbers, even if it is six feet apart. Finally, I think our quarantine has also helped with understanding ourselves better. If teleschool has taught us anything, it is the power of acceptance, adjustment, and of course, the true meaning of senioritis. Ultimately, we tend to better appreciate the things we have once they're gone. At the same time, it is important not to dwell on what senior year could have been, but rather to cherish the moments we spend together. As our quarantine days tick tock away, I truly believe that we will prevail as a legendary graduating class, a league of legends if I do say so myself. As we zoom off towards our college classes and careers, Remember that quarantine has not separated us, but rather united us as a team, even if it is a Microsoft team. As the visionary Juice World once said about graduation, as we go on, we remember all the times we spent together. As our lives change from whatever, we will still be friends forever. This is my final message for the class of 2020. As we part ways in the coming months, it's up to us to hold our memory close and our friends even closer, following CDC guidelines, of course. Class of 2020, stay zealous and make your haters jealous. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to accomplish. Thank you. What's good, Class of 2020? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stay on script, although I hate staying on script. So how's everyone doing this morning? I am Letitia Etheridge, first year advisor for the Alpharetta High School Student Council and second year AHS science teacher. For the past 93 years, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution has recognized high school seniors that excel in academics, leadership, extracurricular involvement, and community service. This award is one of the most prestigious awards that an Atlanta area senior can receive and is given to the individual that has set themselves apart as an outstanding high school student. The Alpharetta High School faculty was asked to select the senior student who symbolized all these attributes. While many students were considered, one student stood out among this elite group as a true representation of what excellence means. The student honored with this award today has shown habits of excellence in his classroom work and participation, his dedication to various extracurricular activities, and his leadership abilities shared with his peers. I wish I had the honor of having this amazing student in my science class, but he is part of the reason that my first year as student council advisor was extremely memorable. It is my pleasure to present this award to Suchedez Bokil. <laughs>
salutes your accomplishments, and I am pleased to present you with the 2020 Atlanta Journal Constitution Cup for excellence in academics, leadership, extracurricular involvement, and community service. Great job, Chutez. Hello, everyone. Ms. Etheridge kind of already introduced me, but my name is Suchetta Spokio, and I'm your student body vice president. To everyone here, my condolences go out to you. I'm sorry that you had to wake up five hours earlier than your normal 1 p.m. wake up time. But since you're here, I'd like to thank all the parents and seniors, and of course, the siblings who were forced to come here for coming out to celebrate today. Class of 2020, congratulations! We've made it through four grueling years of all-nighters, forgetting your ID, the dangerous mosh pit at Music Midtown, regretting your yearbook pictures, and of course, the ultra-hype pep rallies. But it was also four years of wonderful friendship, learning, and being surrounded by the best group of teachers, staff, and peers in the country. We've grown tremendously. Well, I'm still quite sure, but that's besides the point. Our class is composed of some of the richest raiders in Alpharetta High School history, who will go on to leave their mark on the world. This school has defined a large part of who we are, and I can't believe the ending just zoomed past us. Although none of us expected it, I can bet that at some time over the last two months, we've all experienced a strange sense of nostalgia. High school is like toilet paper. You only miss it when it's gone. Before 2020, there were a lot of puns about 2020 vision, and those puns were correct. This year has given us a moment of clarity where we can see what we value most, our families, our friends, our community. It's important that we don't take for granted the time we spend with them. In your next chapter, Live in the moment. We'll find a plethora of new opportunities and the clock will keep going tick tock, tick tock. So don't wait to be a renegade. Seize the moment because that moment will be over very soon. No matter how foggy our foresight is, our hindsight will always be 2020. Honestly, I'm still not ready to say goodbye to y'all for a variety of reasons, but one of those reasons is that I'll be seeing you tonight at the virtual commencement ceremony. So I'll save the farewell for then and end with this. See you later, Raiders. Good morning, class of 2020. My name is Andrew Bolin, and I get the privilege of teaching at AHS and serving as the Alpharetta High School Student Council Advisor alongside Ms. Etheridge. But that's enough about me. Today we're here for you. Each year, I get the honor of presenting the Faculty Cup Award to a senior that was selected by the faculty and staff. About six years ago, students, teachers, and community members and parents worked together to create our Raider Matrix. You know, they're displayed all around the school and in every classroom. These posters remind us that there are four characteristics that our remarkable Raiders consistently embody. Respect, integrity, citizenship, and hard work. It was truly breathtaking to have so many nominations for seniors in the class of 2020. Through all of these nominations, one senior stood out among the rest. I am so proud, so proud, to present this award this morning to 
Sophia Abedi. As Sophia stands on stage and gets to listen to the next few seconds, and making sure we stay at appropriate CDC guidelines of six feet away, um, you'll get to listen to some of the comments made by many of your teachers through your four years at Alpharetta. Sophia truly embodies altruism. Her bright and positive spirit always light up the room. It is so difficult not to smile when you're around her. Sophia's smile is contagious and her constant positivity is admirable. Her kindness and genuine care for everyone is astounding. I truly don't think the word no is in her vocabulary because she is always willing to do anything and everything that's asked of her. Sophia is a once in a career student. She is a wonderful embodiment of everything we strive for at AHS. A true rich raider. To say that I'm impressed with her is a complete understatement. Sophia will be famous someday. COVID-19 has really thrown us all for a loop. Even through the obstacles you faced, your resilience and determination got you through it. And those are some of the qualities that make you the extraordinary leader you are. But it is not just her characteristics that have imprinted on us at AHS. Her transcript, accolades, and accomplishments show that Sophia truly lives by the phrase, set your sights high, and reach for the stars. Go live your dreams and never think you can't. Sophia, as you heard all of these comments, I hope you realize the strong legacy you have left at Alpharetta High School. You have done an amazing job over the last four years and your future is bright and promising. We cannot wait to see all that you will achieve. On behalf of Dr. Kersey, AHS administration, faculty and staff, I'm truly honored to present you with the 2020 Faculty Cup for demonstrating excellence in respect, citizenship, integrity, and hard work. A very huge congratulations. Hello, everyone. My name is Sophia Abedi, and I've had the pleasure of serving as your student body class president this year. We are so fortunate to have the opportunity to gather like this with each other one last time. So class of 2020, honk your horns if you are excited to be done with high school! Alright, well, it looks like we made it. Let's cherish the amazing memories we made throughout our high school careers and look forward to what our futures have in store. Our spirit and positivity are what has allowed us to push through these tough times and become stronger and wiser as a result. Class of 2020, year after year, we have been forming an unspoken bond. Now, this isn't the type of bond that we were unified through some high school musical flash mob. Although, I think we did get to know the people around us during the lip dub fairly well. This is the type of bond that comes from watching each other's sports games, musicals, debates, and competitive events. It's the type of bond that comes from the sweat and tears we shared in the classroom, on the field, or the flowers given to our performing arts students as they play their hearts out on stage. It's the connections and experiences we have shared together and as individuals which have created the class of 2020. I believe we have created one of the most successful graduating classes that Alpharetta has ever seen. After all, we did raise our school's ranking to number one. The legacy, the legacy we left at Alpharetta is just the beginning of what we as individuals can accomplish in our futures. Raiders, always remember to be great by your own definition and push yourself to achieve your dreams. Before we close this chapter of our lives, there are a few things that we need to do. First, we need to thank our amazing teachers and staff. Our teachers have taught us the importance of helping others, treating everyone with respect, and setting goals to achieve our dreams. Second, make sure to treasure this extra time with your family. Make the most of these beloved moments with those closest to us. Third, 
let your friends know how much you appreciate them. While they may have made us upset every now and then, this has been the squad that made us laugh uncontrollably. They have been there through the good and the bad. Today marks a new beginning for all of us. The moments and memories shared over the past four years and every day in between has helped shape and create you. You've started this amazing and beautiful narrative for yourself. So class of 2020, go out there and live in those small moments and share your stories with the world. As you make your transition into adulthood, don't forget to have fun. Enjoy every moment and take in the world around you. As your student body president, it has been my pleasure to share these moments with you, and I'm grateful I will get to keep them on the road ahead. Thank you for an incredible four years, and congratulations, Alpharetta's class of 2020! I'm Christina, and I'll be your host for this week's portion of the morning show. Let's get started. What's up, Alfreda? I'm Matthew George, and I'll be your host for this portion of the morning show. Good morning, Alfreda. My name is Lauren Wynn. Let's get started. Good morning, Alfreda. I'm Caitlin, and I'm Katie. Good morning, Alfreda, and happy Valentine's Day week. I'm Katie DeCourt. And I'm Max Smith. Let's get into the announcements. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. This is the epicenter of this novel coronavirus. The numbers needing medical help in Hubei province are growing. Tonight, U.S. cases of coronavirus more than Around doubling. Around the world now, there are more than two and a half million and there are cases. cases. For those reasons and in accordance with Dr. Toomey's recommendation, I will sign an executive order today closing K-12 through public schools for the rest of the school year. If we found out that the world was going to end on Tuesday morning. I have implemented several targeted measures to slow the spread of coronavirus and protect vulnerable populations. Oh, the thought of that can make some things real important and a lot of things seem pretty weird. We're all doing our part. We're staying home, making sure nobody gets I'd sick. I'd be dancing like a fool. I'd be laughing, I'd be crying. Calling anybody who I never heard and reconciled. I'd call everyone I love to what I was scared to say to them. The world is gonna end Little like the world's gonna end yeah. Dear Class of 2020, You are surrounded by people that truly care about you. And while not everyone could be here to share this with you, the love around us is real. It's here in this moment, on this day, and it's for you. And as you take the next step forward, you can look back at this moment and know you've got this. From that very first walk down the main hall to that very last walk out the door. Four years may have come and gone, but it was within those years that you figured it out. You made friends, many of who are in the car next to you or behind you. And this is our time. Our senior year was filled with promise and events we were going to share but it wasn't exactly in the cards for us. But right now, in this moment, together, we know we survived the challenges and we figured out a way to make this day happen for us. And as we bid farewell to our friends, our teachers, and our mentors, it is that greater spirit in us all to move forward, to face the challenge, and achieve. Relax, class of 2020. Looks like we've made it. So now go do the best things 
I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Oh, yeah. Once again, good morning class of 2020. Yeah, I'm back up here. This time I get to talk to you all for a few minutes, well, actually more like a minute, um, and read out some of your names. Over the next 30 minutes or so, a variety of faculty members will come up, give you about a minute's worth of their wisdom, and then read about 50 student names, all in alphabetical order. When your name is read, please look at the screen on either side of the stage. In order to make sure that we leave on time before mall security kicks us out, we're gonna ask that you hold all of your car horns until the very end, I know. So naturally, I'll go ahead and kick it off. Let me start by saying that I feel a very special bond with the class of 2020. The year you entered Alpharetta High School and its hallways was also my first year teaching at Alpharetta High School. Over the last four years, we have gone through quite the roller coaster ride. At the risk of sounding very repetitive, we spent hours outside at the stadium for reasons that we really don't want to revisit. Our second year at AHS, this was the year of those red bags. The year we got the extra snow day, but Really, we all know it was for the National Football College Championship. And also, we started the school day in the gym because there was a gas smell in the main building. The third year at AHS, it was seemingly normal. And we needed normal at that point. And then this year, we're wrapping up the school year during COVID-19. You have all faced obstacles throughout your life. Being born during the nationwide tragedy of September 11th, to graduating during a nationwide pandemic. And through everything, your resilience and determination have gotten you through it. I am so proud of all that you have accomplished, not just in high school, but throughout your life, leading to this momentous occasion. Now, here we are at your graduation day. And now, let's start off with the names. Andrew Abate. Sophia Abedi. Ayub Abubakar. Dory Acker. Ariana out of day. Vaishu Adimulam. Casey Agato. 
Montserrat Aguado, Carolina Aguirre, Jude Ahmad, Jacqueline Ahmed, Krishi Isla, Victoria Akpen, Garindra Akula, Pablo Albernoz Reynoso, John Alexander, Celia Aludin, Skyly Alvarez, Megan Alzona, Lauren Amato, Venkata Ambarapuri, Olivia Ambrosetti, Alan Anderson, Isabel Angel, Safik Anil, Abdullah Ansari, Alfredo Aranda, Abdul Arif, Aliana Eris, Felix Arakiraj, Belgian Abeldanes, Matthew Avella, Mikal Avrahami, Walid Awad, Sonica Awadi, Sabrina Babeva, Vanessa Baca, Afia Beg, Varsha Balakrishna, Alexa Banky, Ryan Bard, Jaden Barrett, Jada Barrow, Arjun Baskar, Tyler Baynard, Anthony Bellamy, Chadwick Benefield, Chad Bernstein, Joy Best, Amy Veverloose. Good morning, North Point Mall! That's for the old people in the cars. Uh, my name is Allison Cornegay, and I just took a DNA test, and it turns out I'm 100% your graduation coach. If you know me, you know that I tend to say things as they are, i.e. I have no filter. And I'll just say this, this has sucked, and there's no way around it, but as a kid who went to nine different schools before ending up at Milton, and who spent a lot of time eating square pizza and corn at lunch by myself, I promise you that the bad will fade, and you'll mostly remember the good. I know that in one not too distant day, probably in a legal context, someone will mention Carol Baskin, and we'll think back on the time when people had dinners dressed as various people, related to what can only be described as a tiger polygamy cult. And we won't remember that we did this because you were so bored and sick of your family and them as their actual selves. We'll just crack up remembering your khaki-wearing dad dressed up like Joe Exotic with a fake drooping eyebrow ring and everything. And one day, you'll drive by your old campus, and the good old FCS Wi-Fi will pop up unless you're still blocked. And you'll remember the two-month period where you got 900,000 emails from 300 different people using 14 different platforms. But then you'll also remember the fun you had drawing inappropriate drawings on the whiteboard on OneNote because the teachers didn't know it was there. And the time you and your besties completely ignored social distancing guidelines and piled up 10 to a car to go get free smoothies at Smoothie King. Or the time that, made tic that TikTok made you think that you were a good dancer. So to everyone here, teachers, support staff, administration, students, parents, grandparents, I thought there were going to be some limo, uh, limo drivers, um, people who are lost trying to get into Macy's, the Alpharetta Police Department, really everybody, thank you for being part of what has undoubtedly been the weirdest year of my teaching career. I will always remember this is the time that I got to work in sweatpants by my dogs and you was the class that got us to number one in Fulton County for the very first time in our school's histories. And now for the next 50 fabulous members of the class of 2020. Yeah, you can honk for me. Um, <laughs> All right, that's enough. All right, Paulin Baharadwaj, Elizabeth Bilderback, Jada Billups, 
Taylor Bird, Emma Bixler, Cassandra Bezzero, Jose Boadavina, Zoe Bober, Andrew Bogle, Suchetis Bokil, Rafael Botelio, Kiala Boyd, Reagan Boyd, Nicolina Brash, Ariana Bridget, Ethan Bremelo, Destiny Broughton, Alicia Brown, Bailey Brown, Jade Bruce, Cortez Buchanan, Aiden Bull, Charlotte Butcher, Nicholas Buxbaum, Camille Caldwell, Marcus Cambridge, Sydney Campbell, Providence Campisi, Nathany Cano, Aline Capuano Blecher, Ronald Carling, Marco Castaneda Perez, Andrea Castillo, Jason Castro Benitez, Zainab Sutton, Ethan Chambers, Varun Chowdhury, Ravi, oh, Kalyani Chowdhury, so sorry, Ravi Chikadi, Su Young Cho, Bradley Christian, Grace Chukwu, Camilla Sivinskaita, yeah, no, Sivinskaita, so, Abby Clark, Jack Clark, Rachel Clark, Liam Clark, Catherine Clement, and Jamasia Clement. Congratulations. Woo, it's a lot of people. Hang this right there. Good morning, everybody. I am Mr. Burton. I'm a proud science teacher at AHS. <laughs> Thank you. Class of 2020, congratulations. Looks like you made it. Andrew Bolin, I just want to point out that he stole my speech, so it's going to be a little repetitive. But I also, four years ago, started here uh, as my first year as AHS. I taught a lot of your older siblings my first and second year. I'm happy to finally have gotten to teach the better siblings this year and last year. I'm kidding. I love you all equally. Um, I know you all are very prepared for the future challenges, all you've gone through these four years. You guys are an amazing class of perseverance. Congratulations. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Now, for our names. Josie Cloud. Olivia Colburn. Shemay Collier. Jaden Colama. Kylie Kotori, Samuel Cooper, Elisa Corina, Kayla Crawford, Jeremy Crichton, Alicia Crisp, I think I finally got it right, girl, Gabriel Cross, Diego Cuna Mendez, Nyla Curtis, Juliana Danbury, Shreya Das, Andrew Doherty, Amia Davis, Hadley Dawson, Ashley Day, Jacqueline De La Luz Lopez, Lucas De Sosa Quiros, Aiden Delaney, Nina Delgado, Willie Delk, Sarah Dirige, Mark DeSantis, Michael DeSantis, Namita Deshpade, Sakshi Deshpade, Jordan D, Marina Diaz, Gabriel Dinnerstein, 
There you go. Julia Ditzi. Charles Doberg. Natalia Dorshina. Cameron Dorsey. Hector Dos Santos. Zachary Drizaba. Jackson Duffy. Madeline Dumont. Stephen Duncan. Aaron Dunk. Ashley Dunlop. Yes, Yasima Eason. Haley Easterly. DeMarco Easton. Abigail Eberhardt. Jenin Eldeeb. Chloe Elster. Maya Enders. Laura Erickson. Congratulations, 2020. Thank you. Good morning, Raiders. My name is Tracy Meisner, and I'm honored and humbled to stand before you this morning. This time is always bittersweet for me because I know I'm going to miss you guys, but I'm also excited to see you start your journey. And for many of my students who have been in my class, you've heard me share my stories of business, perseverance, and passion. Not because I didn't follow my heart, but because I did. And while some of those passions may have changed along the way, the one thing that has held true for me is always, whatever you do in life, do it with pride. Be proud of your work. And I find that a success. So I leave you with this challenge, my class of 2020. Go out there willing to stand for what you believe, be true to yourself, and really, really follow your passion. Because even if your parents don't think you're gonna earn a living, you'll figure it out. And in the immortal words of Mick Jagger and Keith Richards, you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. And for the class of 2020, Slade Erickson, Karen Escobedo, Alexandra Espinal, Cameron Ure, Aaron Evans, Rhea Evans, Skyler Evans, Colby Ewing, Michael Easy, Maria Fabolo DeWint, Julia Fabian, John Patrick Fagan, Nathan Fairley, Andrea Farino, Ahmad Farouk, Khalil Farrar, Dylan Foley, Margaret Ferguson, Angelica Fernandez, Jessica Phylos, Elijah Fields, Josh Finnerty, Benjamin Firestone, Caitlin Fitzgibbon, Joshua Flynn, Andrew Floyd, Andrew Ford, my favorite graduate, Tessa Forsese. Jacob Fragel, Cecilia Franceschi, John Frendina, Sophie Framer, Aubrey Freericks, Jackson Frizzell, Haley Fussell, Jordan Gaddy, Amo Gattacar, Cameron Gaines Thomas, Madura Gangel, Leo Garrity, Megan Gelber, Sahidi Gilala, William Gertis, Victoria Germano, Dina Gai, Olivia Glaze, Abha Gokal, Kimberly Gomes, Ryan Ganano, Andy Gonzalez Rodriguez, and Desiah Goodson. Have a great morning, folks. Hi, class of 2020. I am Adriana. And I teach AP psychology here. All right, so a few words. It took me a while, but I think I figured it out. To the class of 2020, I know this isn't the graduation you envisioned for yourself. What's important to remember that life never goes the way you plan it. 
nothing ever turns out the way you plan it. But you all are graduating today, proving that you have the tools needed to take on the everyday challenges. Your ability to adapt and overcome will set you up for success in the future. Just remember all of this. This will shape you, but it will not break you. This will be a part of you, but it will not define you. And please, 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 please always remember that you're a savage, classy, bougie, and ratchet. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2020. It looks like you've made it. Jack Gordon, Sarah Gottwald, Dupree Grace, Elizabeth Gray, Timothy Green, Rudved Gudapati, Marcelo Guerra, Michael Guerra, Urban Guerrero Duarte, Reagan Guthrie, Jordan Hall, Carmen Hamilton, Jazia Harrell, Janessa Harris, Sophie Harrison, Nazinga Hart, Ilsa Hartig Guerra, Maliha Hassan, Carolyn Hatter, Natasha Habanor, Riley Heath, Kayla Henry, Parker Henry, Jenny Hyo, Ali Herbert, Bona Helloter, Adela Hernandez, Jardine Hernandez Udaneta, Jennifer Herrera Acosta, Bailey Herring, Eleanor Hexamer, Emily Hobson, Timothy Holtz, Victoria Hollenbeck, Taylor Hood, Elijah Hopper, yeah. Brooke Horrell, Jacob Hudson, Jose Huerta, Kyle Hurts, Bazid Hussein, Anna Idachani, Jasmine Elaboya, Jackson Eisenberg, Nicole Ivy, Bryce Jackson, Christopher Jackson, Jasmine Jackson, Savannah Jackson, and Terrell Jackson. Good morning, and uh, without further ado, I would like to present your school board member, Miss Katie Reeves. 20 years of graduations, I've never seen anything like this. It's unique, but you're unique. I won't take up any more of your time, but I just wanted to tell you, I hope you feel the support and the love that you, not only the board and I myself feel, but your whole community. You can't drive around this community without seeing people celebrating you all. Take that with you as you go. Congratulations, 2020. Woo. All right. All right, good morning, class of 2020. It definitely does look like you made it. Raiders, my name is Ms. Crumbly, and I'm your area superintendent, and I work very closely with your principal uh, to make 
Alpharetta High School, the number one high school in Fulton County Schools. So I was wondering if we could just take a moment to make some noise for your principal, Dr. Kersey, all the administrators, and all the teachers that made today possible. So many great speeches this morning about everything that's been going on in your lives and that has affected the class of 2020. One thing I want to let you guys know, you know, in the background has been the census. And the census is where they count all the people in America. And I looked at some data and, and whereas less than, uh, not even 20% of America is 18 years old, in my heart and in the hearts of everyone here today, 18 year olds are 100% of our future. Congratulations, class of 2020. Janae Jackson, Sean Jackson Barnes, Jay Jacobs, Megan Jacobs, Nikhil Jaganathan, Louis Jean Guillaume, Janae Jefferson, Daniel Yensrud, Arat Jonico Gonzalez, Hayden Johnson, Sawyer Johnson, Sophia Johnson, Lacey Jones, Natalie Jose Maria, Joshua Joseph, Priya Joshi, Austin Joyner, Jason Zhuang, Jiwan Jun, Kondwandi Kamenga, Taiwu Kang, Dara Karasha, Varun Kasabatla, John Paul Kaysrai, Jack Kaufman, Riley Keneally, Nitha K. Thinahi, Isla Khan, Yusra Khan, Rajay Karab, Caitlin King, Kyle Kleinschmidt, James, James Cloker, Charles Kuduru, Nathaniel Kohler, Mackenzie Kahns, Harika Kosanraju, Ventakaha Kuthrapahu, Amit Kulkorni, Sanika Kulkorni, Vikram Kumar, Jennifer Kurzweil, Nishad Koot, Roshna Kutharu, Justin La Liberté, Ulysses Landeros, Seagal Lana Dejo, Charles Lacia, Mai Latfaho. And we are so, so sorry. We just wanted to make sure that we didn't skip anyone. And I'm kind of happy I get to say this because I've taught her. Congratulations, Rachel Kennedy. Yo, yo, Raider Nation! I'm Heather Turner. I teach economics, AP economics, uh, and I coach the women's soccer team as well. Quick shout out to my AHS women's soccer players that are here, as well as my AP econ students. Now, I only have a minute to speak, so I must deliver the most important advice you'll ever get for college readiness, okay? Usually I charge for this, however, I feel a little bit, uh, you know, bad about your situation, okay? So I'm gonna give you a Groupon here. I'm sure a couple of you are videotaping this, so if it goes viral, I'll uh, bring you on Ellen, okay? Sounds good. Number one, always set your alarm around midday before class. You never know where the night will take you and you don't know, uh, you don't want to end up trickling into class late with marker on your face. So you got to set an alarm 
uh, nice enough before class in order to get a good facial scrubbing, a good facial scrubbing, okay? Number two, always travel with snacks. Not for you, selfish, but for your teachers. And the only reason I'm giving that advice is because I hope there's a few juniors here that'll be in my econ class and bring me some snacks next year, okay? Yeah. Number three, never ever choose the top bunk. I know some of you will get the nightmares of not getting 100 and you get the 99 instead, you'll end up belly flopping the, gr the ground. Not good, we don't wanna do that, okay? Number four, last but not least, know how to hit the wall, okay? When you find yourself at a party and you see somebody you want to impress, the whoa is a game changer. And for those of you that don't know how it goes, you throw it up, catch it, and give a right hook. You're welcome. Now for the names. Sarah Lawrence, Dimitri Ledger, Jennifer Leitner, Faith Leva, Jordan Leslie, Jennifer Light, Matthew Lynn, Georgia Lingerfeld, Eileen Liu, Amos Long, Emily Long, Alexis Lepresti, Lauren Lovett, Jose Lazada Chinchilla, Eon Lou, Sophia Luna, Vivia Lung, Alyssa Luster, Omar Lai, Noah Lynch, Brandy McDonald, Lindsay Mahalit, Cole Mahoney, Bethany Mallard, Anaya Malone, Aparna Mendapaka, Highgreave Manikandam, Ronnie Manor, John Marks, Lucas Marks, Jeffrey Martin, Nazareth Martinez, Andrew Mock, Christopher Maycock, Mackenzie Mazer, Madeline Mazer, Vitalia Bella Mazzola, Nicole McClelland, Maggie McConnell, Jacqueline McCormick, Anthony McCoy, Megan McCullough, Kanisha McDaniel, Sierra McFerrin, Claire McGee, Kevon McGee, Alex McGill, Delaney McGowan, Nicole McKenzie, Olivia McKenzie. Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Kathy Gehring, and I'm a special education teacher, and I'm delighted to have four of my students here this morning graduating. They are all incredible young adults who have had an amazing year in the classroom, the community, and at their job site. Their names are Ethan Bromelow, Maria Fabella Duent, Jessica Philos, and Shabab Moy. I would also like to recognize six amazing young women who have been unified raiders or peer facilitators for the past four years. Their names are Maddie and Mackenzie Mazur, Rachel Kennedy, Olivia Glaze, Taylor Hood, and Allie Herbert. Each of these young women are not only standouts in the classroom, but are remarkably caring and selfless. To the class of 2020, I'd like to leave you with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. If you cannot fly, then run. If you cannot run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. To the Alpharetta class of 2020, you did it. No matter what, never stop moving forward. Now for the names. Madison McKinley. Emma McMullen. William Medina, Chloe Medlock, Summer Meister, Bryce Melton, Carson Melton, Harrison Michaels, So Rob Mohajer, 
Noor Mohammed, Yasmin Mohammed, Chowdhury Shabab Moin, Siobhan Moodley, Cheyenne Moore, Essence Moore, Kendall Moore, Carlos Moreland, Abigail Morgan, Megan Morin, Reagan Mosca, Eliana Moss, Gavin Moy, Annette Mundy, William Myslack, Rohit Namir, Harish Nathan, Jennifer Neely, Kiana Nelson, William Newell, Avida Gagnani, Phoebe Gagnani, Kim Wynn, Luke Nolfa, Tyler Nord, Zena Noseba, Tamurbic Odipkov, Chantal Omina, Omide Onipod, Kaya Owens, Luke Palmer, Alejandro Palomino Contreras, Sanjeevi Kapani, Tobias Papulias, Luhari Parichuri, Christian Pasulakwa, Jada Peebles, Isla Peles, Nada Peles, Emily Perdomo, and Amy Petrie. Congratulations to all. Good morning, campers. I am Miss Hubbard. You are my 13th class of seniors. So I wrote you a little poem. Hey, stop. Don't pack up. I have one more minute until the bell rings. These directions need to be clear before you go. Seriously, put your phones down. I didn't finish the lesson when we dismissed on Thursday. Once you leave, I can't help you grasp the analogy. Analogy? A-N-A-L-O-G-Y? You do remember the definition of the term, right, Brian? <laughs> no? Great. Well, you know, it helps if you take notes. It helps if you stay awake. It helps if you are present. If you listen and if you hear. Dang. Okay, that's the bell. We will have to tackle the universal truths of life another time. Be good for the substitute when I'm not here, and remember that you are loved. Thank you, Avengers Assemble. All right, here we go. Isabel Phillip, Cordelia Pierce, Alec Pelosi, Sarah Pinheiro, Nathaniel Plimpton, Zachary. Plimpton, Avery Poe, Marshall Poe, Viva Polisetti, Easton Ponywas, Brianna Pope, Sabrina Powell, Malika Pravakar, Olivia Price, Stephen Prevet, Jack Pry, Brenda Quintero, Sorry, Sarang Pujari, Brenda Quintero. Sarah Qureshi, Allison Raw, Cecilia Racine, Rian Rahman, Shriha Ramachandran, Janesh Mohan, Sophia Rangel Reyes, Malati Rathnabandara, Shreya Ravichandran, 
Danya Sri Ravi Krishnan, Manya Sri Ravi Krishnan. Turning the page. Benjamin Reddy, John Patrick Pierce, Ori Restler, David Reynolds, Garrett Reynolds, Megan Ree, Madison Richards, Kai Rico, Miguel Rivas, Tadeo Rivera, Juan Jose Roca, Caitlin Rodriguez, Victor Rostet, Alicia Ruz, Stephanie Refrano, Emma Russell, Felicia Russell, Samantha Russo, Muazo Sagir, Ava Salter, Sergio Sanchez Garcia. Peace out, babies. Good morning, graduating class of 2020. My name is Mike Womack, and I was born socially awkward. And I'm Sarah Stoffel, and I majored in theater and will always be broke. Yeah. You're likely to hear a lot of really solid advice today that you can take with you for the rest of your life. But not for the next two minutes. That's right. What we want to offer you today is a segment we're calling Life Hacks. If one door closes, open it again. It's a door. That's how they work. Unless it's not your door, in which case, opening that door is considered a felony, so don't do that after all. If you find yourself losing an argument, just start correcting their grammar. Unless you're arguing with an English teacher, and then try reciting the quadratic formula. It'll stop them cold. Don't sweat the petty things and don't pet the sweaty things. But what if the sweaty things are petting them? Then run. <laughs> In case of a fire, get the hell heck out before taking your Instagram selfie. And speaking of Instagram, don't be fooled by social media. People aren't who they post to be. <laughs> Close your blinds at night when you have the lights on. Everyone can see, well, everything. And always remember to wear pants in your Zoom meetings. And double check that you're muted before flushing. Avoid the cereal bar in the cafeteria. Those fruity pebbles will make you gain the freshman 15. But the more you weigh the, and the weight you gain, the harder you are to kidnap. If toilet paper continues to be in short supply in your immediate future, consider buying a single item from CVS. Those receipts should get you at least through two days. And don't wait to buy a plunger until you need one. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're proud of everything you've worked for over the last 18 years. From two people who've done just okay in life. And had to learn the hard way. We, we love, love you. you. And now for the names. Griffin Sanders, Lola Sampambrogio, Yasmin Santos Aries, Edvina Sari, Abiasam Sastri, Ajith Satesh, Sonia Sarab, Iman Sigoni, Dasha Scarborough, Abigail Schlick, Ian Schwabe, Abigail Schwartz, Jordan Scott, Emily Sellers, Carlos Sepulvoldi Cruz, John Serafino, Anaya Seth, Samir Sharma, Sonia Sharma, Victoria Sharples, Zachary Shearer, Itai Scheffler, Junion Shin, Sydney Sidwell, Garangad Singh, Caitlin Singleton, Brayon Smith, Kamani Smith, Madison Smith, McClendon Smith, Monique Stockwell, Hannah Sumro, 
Emma Sorensen, Jordan Sanzanowski, Thomas Sowersby, Joshua Spencer, Sean Spinelli, Matteo Stasarini, Samantha Stansbury, Jaden Stevens, Alexandra Strain, Samuel Stratton. Liam Stewart, Annie Sunil, Nikita Swamy, Miles Silverston, Jance Tackett, Millen Talani, Asuma Talibi, Kieran Talali, Aaron Tani, Julian Teal. Finn Terlizzi, Ella Terrell, Cypretham Thuluri, Christopher Thomas, Grant Thompson, Kumara Thotumpudi, Chitthu, Griffin Tice, Yasmin Tienda Lechuga, Michael Talaka, Tristan Timmons, Tyler Timmons, Cole Tinsley, Bryce Trout. Shuri Safani, Lindsay Tucker, Sindhu Tutikku, Yusuf Uden, Ayush Umrani, and Alex Unger. Good morning, class of 2020. Get some feedback here. <laughs> they told me I was batting clean up and I was honored. So why am I getting all this? And then they handed me this. Then I wasn't so honored. Hopefully you can hear me. Clean up, got it? I know you're laughing on the inside. This is the first speech I've ever given in my whole life to a bunch of automobiles. Maybe the rest of you speak like this all the time. Anyway, I'm Mr. Nick, congratulations, class of 2020, not only for graduating, but also for getting accepted into such prestigious colleges and universities all over the United States and winning so many scholarships, all without the help of Lori Lachlan and her husband, by the way, if I may mention that. Keep in mind that I was told to say something humorous and it was just supposed to last a minute. I wasn't even supposed to be up here, but somebody said, who can tell the class of 2020 everything he knows in less than a minute? All of a sudden, Mr. Nick, and I'm batting clean up. When I heard it was a minute, it was supposed to be funny, I thought, okay, well, how about one of those moments of silence we always hear about? That could be a win-win-win, you know? I don't have to prepare anything, okay? You can think funny thoughts to yourself, and the school doesn't get sued for anything I might say by accident. Then I thought, moment of silence. I think that's gonna be too long. I already blew about 30 seconds of my minute. So I had to switch it up a little bit. So I just decided to tell you a couple of things. Okay, one of the things I wanted to tell you is that I hope, since I've had about 50% of you in my computer classes over the years, I hope that when you're in a job interview with somebody and there's computer knowledge involved with it somehow, which there almost certainly will be, by the way, if you're getting a job in this century, if the interviewer says something about what languages are you most familiar with, I don't want you to just blurt out Spanish, okay? Maybe these are over your head. I know you're laughing on the inside of the cars there. Or maybe if he says, IT, 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 and you're going, what is it? What is it? Why didn't he just say it instead of just spelling it all the time? Then we're all grown-ups here. Okay. So, I'm going to finish with a couple of words of wisdom. 
About 50 years ago, one of my bosses said, hey, Mr. Nicholson, this is a world of priorities. And the faster you figure that out, of course, he didn't know me as Mr. Nick, okay? He said, the faster you figure it out, the better off you're gonna be. Another one of my bosses about 40 years ago said, hey, don't ever do anything that you don't want to read about on the front page of the newspaper tomorrow morning. I'm going to leave you with those plus this. Do good, be good, and enjoy the living of it. We are so proud of you, class of 2020. We love you. And since there's only 48 names well, left, 50 you. names left, okay? Gonna, Had two of you worried there for a second. <laughs> I'm just gonna read all these off at random and see whether the AV off. crew back there is really on its toes. Not that. really, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, first, Audrey Uphughes. Rom Uppall. Victor, he asked for that. Do maybe Uzar and Abeli. Semper Babasti. Aliona Vaha. Ian Valdez. Varshika Vandanam. Andrew Vickers. Diego. Viloria Lopez, Paula Viloria Lopez, Lucien Bicic, Kunal Bora, Manwi Voletti, Hamanchu Vora, Catherine Wadsworth, Logan Walker, Hayden Walters. Zushuan Mike Wong, Lucinda Warnke, Nazaria Washington, Sydney Watson, Caroline Wemple, Charles C. Wemple, Gerald Whitaker, Errol Williams. Madison Williams, Maya Williams, Nina Simone Williams, Presley Williams, Brianna Wilson, Daniel Wilson, Audrey Wolf, Kyle Wong, Natasha Wong Lopez. Marion Wood, Abayomi Woolheater, Catherine Warden, Cherion Wortham, Brandon Wright, KCZ, Rushuan Rachel Shu, Elsie Young, Jessica Zart, Aksha Zeb, Jason Zhang, Kevin Zhao, Amy Zhu, Anna Zhu, Lexing Zhu, and William Zija. Zija. So almost made it. <laughs> All right, class of 2020, congratulations. Mr. Nick, as they say, don't go anywhere. Raiders, this is a very special day for Lee Nicholson, as this will be his final Alpharetta High School graduation as a teacher at Alpharetta. Raiders, Lee Nicholson is retiring this year 
after 15 years as an educator in Fulton County Schools, two at McLaren, four at Independence, and his last nine years in service to Alfreda High School. Mr. Nicholson has spent his years teaching students about IT, with the past few years teaching AP Computer Science, he has also supported our amazing FBLA as well as coached several sports and sponsored multiple clubs. Mr. Nicholson, you leave a legacy of student support here at AHS. You have enriched the lives of thousands of students during your long career as an educator and teacher and resident of Alpharetta. We all thank you and wish you the best of luck during this next phase of your life. Let's give Mr. Nick a real drive-in applause. I present to you the Alpharetta High School Class of 2020. One, two, three, toss! Thank you. Thank you for being here.